You know, maybe you've seen a video online that questions what's on lemons that restaurants serve in their drinks. News 4 saw it. We want to know if those lemons really are a recipe for making you sick. News 4 investigates, tested lemons, and we got in some drinks that we bought. Russell Kinsall found out the results. Well, they were disgusting. When we dropped off our lemons, microbiologist Jim O'Donnell actually debated our choice of tests. I'd be surprised to find fecal. But after running the tests, his opinion of lemon wedges soured considerably. I did not expect to find any coliforms, uh, especially not fecal. Uh, fecal coliforms, E. coli, only come from mammalian intestines, which would mean what you're thinking it means. We ordered drinks and collected lemons at eight restaurants from one end of the metro to the other. Fairview Heights to St. Charles, Sunset Hills to Florissant. Every single slice tainted with human feces. The lab focused on small sections of the foul fruit. Most showed one speck of feces, but the lemon from a St. Charles restaurant soured even our scientist's stomach. It had six specks on the sample, which translates into as many as 60 spots of human fecal matter on one lemon wedge. Six is not good. Six is very bad. The 60, I would say, whoever did it had just come from the bathroom. And if they're polluted with feces, the odds are good they're crawling with harmful bacteria. You could have Staphylococcus, you could have, you know, E. coli, you could have, you know, it's, it's cold and flu season. And although the flu is a virus, cold, some colds are bacterial, um, you know, so there could be all kinds of goodies on there. Our test didn't identify the specific bacteria, but here's the obvious question. Is there enough on the lemons to send you running to the toilet or worse? So if there's bacteria there, some of those bacteria or viruses can make people ill. Our results gave the health department a whole new view of iced tea. I am very surprised. Um, we usually don't think of lemons because of the acidic environment growing bacteria. So I would have thought it would be zero. Tracking the source of the sickening substance on the lemons is difficult. Which person that unloaded, sliced, or served the lemons failed to wash their hands? And most food poisoning goes unreported. But if human waste or bacteria on lemon in your drink is also carrying E. coli or salmonella, the health of children or the elderly could be at risk. Some of these look like bacilluses. None of them really look like a staff. Of the eight samples, two were not placed by employees. Instead, we used tongs from buckets where the customers are supposed to help themselves. Our test discovered that the lemon wedges with the highest bacteria counts were the ones set out in the restaurant where the customers are supposed to use tongs. Whenever you have anything open to the environment, and more people are going to be have access to it. Um, you're more likely to find these problems because even though the employees may wash their hands, the other patrons may not be. The health department says that it checks for this problem on routine inspections. We try to talk to the operators about putting out just a little bit so they have to, you know, change frequently, rotate, you know, those items, you know, out so it's not there all day. They also require that all employees working with ready-to-eat foods such as lemons not to touch the foods with their bare hands. The health code has been adopted in Missouri but not in Illinois. Both our Illinois restaurants registered only one speck of fecal matter, but the lemon wedge from the Fairview Heights restaurant was loaded with potentially harmful bacteria. Right now, Illinois is in the process of adding these rules into their state code. We're not naming the restaurants, but because our lab results reveal a public health issue, we believed it was our responsibility to share that information with the specific restaurants, and we did. Some were much more responsive than others. And I've written about that in my blog at KMOV.com. For News 4 Investigates, I'm Russell Kinsall. So you'll take your tea without lemon, I guess. And my water. <laughs> All right.